What it is, what it do, cyber world. It is your girl, the one, the only, Ash Said It. Ash Said It.com, Ash Said It.com. Welcome to the Ash Said It Daily Podcast Show. I appreciate you guys for all of your love and support. Over 1,600 episodes. Wow, that's a mouthful. And half a million streams worldwide. So I thank you guys for all of your love and support. It helps the show grow. It helps us to talk to phenomenal, great talents, such as my man, the founder and CEO of Planted Express, Terrence. Hey, Terrence. (laughs) Hey, how are you? I am good. How are you doing today? I'm doing excellent. All right. Absolutely. Now, Terrence, you guys are holding down. You know, everybody knows that I'm from the east side. I'm an east side resider. You know, I grew up on the east side of everything. And Memorial Drive, that area, uh, it holds a special place in my heart. And so I know that you guys have been just making some noise out there with this footage I've been hearing about, Terrence. So, (laughs) wanted to talk about how did Planted Express start? Um, so one day, you know, I've, um, I just kind of sat down and I, I, I assessed what I had to offer the world. And I said, you know, I know how to cook, but I'm also vegan and I got a lot of hustle in me. So I think I can make this happen. I think I can, you know, serve my community, serving us some good vegan food with some healthy stuff and make it work like that. And, uh, so far the response from the community has is, is been positive. They like what I'm making. So. Absolutely. Absolutely. I feel as though you guys are actually just giving that area a, a resurgence of just energy and just, you know, needed some new young blood up in that area. So you guys are doing that out there. Definitely appreciate that. What would you say was the early challenge for you guys and how did you overcome? Um, so I would say I'm still in the early stages. Uh, we don't have we don't quite have our my own brick and mortar yet to where we can be open seven days a week okay. uh, but the biggest challenge was definitely finding a space to work out of and so my way to overcome that was to partner with an existing uh food restaurant mm-hmm. you know i basically kicked it to them and said i know you know covid is hurting a lot of people yeah. i'm sure i'm sure you're not immune from it you know how about we work out a deal to where i would basically open up my shop during the times that he would typically be closed and that way everybody mm-hmm. wins you know sounds like a bet so where are you guys located right now Right now, we are in Stone Mountain at 832 Hamburg Road. Okay. Uh, we work out of the Food King Jamaican Restaurant, and I'm there every Saturday and Sunday. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right, so what are some of the menu items, Terrence? What are some of those popular things that people come there specifically for? Uh, I would say specifically they come for the burger, the Big Mama Burger, mm. and they also like our junk fries. Mm. Um, so the junk fries is the category we have. That was the latest addition to the menu. We have loaded fries that are are very, very hearty. They're a full meal. Uh, a lot of topics on those, like the, probably the most popular one. Actually, so I'll say that my most favorite one is the jerk fries. It's got the fries, melted vegan cheese, jerk jackfruit, marinated peppers, onions, cilantro, avocado, sour cream, and a house-made jerk sauce. Mm. My absolute favorite. That one, that one sells very, very well. Oh, and then they also like the, um, the Big Mama Burger as well. Mm. Um, so what's special about mine is I don't use I don't use store bought vegan patties. I make my own patty out of jackfruit, so you won't oh. be able to find it anywhere. And yeah, and I can I can actually stand on it and say yes, this is this is absolutely healthy for you. <laughs> something that's good for you, you know. And that's the uh, house made per- uh, jackfruit patty. That's got vegan bacon. It's got fried onions, jalapenos, and barbecue sauce on that, as well as vegan cheddar cheese. Mm. I got you. I got you. Okay, so you kind of going into my next little field that I wanted to ask about because the vegan movement, it has become a lifestyle for people. And it is slowly but surely kind of taking over Metro Atlanta and surrounding areas. So what do you feel that Planted Express does as far as adding to that culture? What makes you guys so much more different than all the other vegan places that keep popping up? Well, a lot of people don't, a lot of people automatically believe that vegan is healthy, and that's not necessarily the case. You know, mm. vegan, uh, Oreos are vegan. You eat those all day, every day, you will be anything but healthy. <laughs> and so, with a lot of these vegan products, we find that they have a lot of the same dangers that meat has. It just so happens that they aren't being made from animals. Mm. So, though you aren't harming animals, you are still harming yourself. You know, whether it be high cholesterol, high sodium, yeah. uh, genetically modified foods, things that raise estrogen levels and, and things of that nature, things that you really shouldn't be eating, um, yeah, you even have a lot of those problems come up with the vegan food. So where I stand out is I serve jackfruit. I serve mm-hmm. superfood. It's, uh, it's been eaten for thousands of years. It's eaten all throughout Asia. 
Um, and, and, and it's nothing but health. It's got minerals, protein, iron. It's got uh, anti-cancer properties, anti mm. other anti-disease properties, anti-inflammatory properties. It's actually healthy for you, and your body will thank you for eating it. Mm. And um, I know one of the ways we stand out is because we make junk food, you know, typically stuff that, that, that would be unhealthy for you or stuff that you would regret, right. but made it actually healthy for you. So that you, if you wanted to, you could come eat a burger, a bacon cheeseburger with me every day and, and, and be healthy. You know what I mean? You can wow. eat this after the gym without <laughs> ruining your workout. Yeah. Wow, that's incredible. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about how you actually prepare some of your foods. Now, one of your most popular items, like you said, was the jerk fries. And I know that that is prepared with some jackfruit. How do you guys actually cook and prepare the jackfruit for that dish? So the jackfruit, all my jackfruit, but not all of it, but the jackfruit, that, that dish is smoked. Uh, I got a huge, like, 500-gallon 500, 500 uh, reverse flow smoker. You know, I really take, <clears throat> excuse me, I really take my time with cooking it. Mm-hmm. I marinate it with a special blend of spices, and we smoke it for about three or four hours. Mm-hmm. And uh, it just comes out to perfection. And so on that one, we toss that with the jerk sauce, with the house-made jerk sauce. And like I said, it's got the peppers, onion, cilantro, avocado, and sour and vegan sour cream on that. So it's a lot of... A lot of good stuff on that slate. Okay, all right. Now, you know, I've been just scoping and just like, you know, looking and drooling all over y'all's IG page. But I, I saw that you guys actually have some, some cheese-type products or cheese-esque type of products. Let's talk about how that's prepared. Uh, so the cheese, I actually buy the cheese. Uh, oh, okay. I use either a diet or follow your heart. Um, mm. Yeah, I just buy that. Now, I do have a, a recipe for the cheese sauce that I make, you right. know. We start out with the traditional bechamel, but I add my 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 own spices to it to make sure that it hits all the taste buds the way it's supposed to hit it, and make sure that consistency is right. And honestly, um, we've we've gotten it down pack. I would say like definitely within the last two weeks, we really perfected that recipe mm-hmm. where I could really put this up next to like actual cow cheese, and you wouldn't even know the difference. Oh wow. <laughs> That sounds amazing. Yeah, I think that's the the main thing, Terrence. I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of kept me, you know, with the you know with the non vegan stuff. It's like cheese. I'm like that's the one thing that I just it, it's so hard to try to get away from. So I I gotta make my way out there to y'all. I gotta make my way out there. Um, one of these weekends, it's just been crazy. I'm gonna get back to Georgia soon. <laughs> But uh, mm-hmm. but last on the list, last but certainly not least, what advice could you offer to any person that is looking to endeavor in a, into a new industry, any industry? Uh, well, with any industry, knowledge is power. So you definitely gotta you, you need to learn as much as you can, and you gotta focus on your niche. Find out what mm-hmm. it is that you do differently. Find out what your edge is and focus on that. You know, um, be patient and just always learn. Always have an open mind. I love it. Love it, Terrence. Planted Express, Terrence, thank you so much for joining us today. Definitely appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> Let everyone know the best way to get in contact with you guys and to follow you on social media. Uh, so, yeah, follow me on social media at Planted Express, like how you plant something into the ground. Planted Express, that is. I'm very responsive with that. You can DM me on there. Um, I always get back to people within an hour or two. Uh, yeah, it's the best way to reach out to me. And you can follow that for any updates because uh, sometimes we're able to open up during the week. Uh, okay. Just It just depends with my family, man, so I have to work around my kids' schedule. But sometimes mm-hmm. we can open up during the week, and I'll, I'll post it there and things like that, too. Sounds like a plan. Much more success, Terrence. We see that you're getting that brick and mortar. We're claiming that for you, bruh. There's lots, lots yes, in ma'am. store for you for 2021. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. Keeping in mind, anyone to tell you that you can't do what you want to do. You look them square in the face. You tell them, don't believe me. Just watch. Watch what I do. Watch me make it happen. Watch me make history. That's what we're doing this for, the history books. Social media is nice, but real life is so much better. Until next time, you guys.